Cameron County Judge Eddie Trevino answering several questions and providing an update on COVID-19 cases in the county. Channel 5's Rudy Mireles live at the Commissioner's Court in downtown Brownsville. Rudy, what's the latest? Well, as you said, Dina, just moments ago, Judge Trevino updated the latest numbers in Cameron County. Today we stand at 544 cases of COVID-19, an increase of 90 in one week. Uh, the increases of concern, uh, but what is of greater concern is the larger increase in deaths. In one week, we have reported seven additional COVID-19 related deaths, an average of one per day. So a week ago, we were at 18, we're now at 25. As, you, as the judge just said right there, uh, this is a devastating moment for the community, but the recent numbers have become more concerning as the county has averaged one coronavirus death per day for the last week. The judge also noted that in addition to the deaths, the county has seen 90 new cases in just one week. Judge Trevino also addressed several other topics, including new test sites popping out throughout the county starting this weekend, funding from the federal government, as well as the latest nursing home in the county to report a COVID-19 case, the Spanish Manor in Brownsville, which we reported last week. We'll hear the judge explain his thoughts on nursing homes, as well as the disproportionate amount of funding per capita to cities with less than 500,000 residents tonight on both Channel 5 News at 5 and 6. Live in Brownsville, Rudy Mireles, Channel 5 News at noon. The city of Brownsville out with new COVID-19 testing numbers. As of Monday, the city administered 1,941 tests. City officials say that's just shy of the 50% who've signed up to participate. Health officials noted after a change to the more accurate swab testing method, results have shown a slight uptick in positive tests. City Commissioner and Physician Dr. Rose Gowan says that while those changes make for a clearer picture, it's a double-edged sword. Keep in mind that as we go forward, we're loosening the restriction, the criteria to do testing. Mm -hmm. Correct. So, so that's a that's a good thing. Means we're going to pick up more positives. It also means that in the beginning, when we were more restrictive, we may have missed some. So, you know, that's that's going to influence the percentage as well as we move forward. Also, as of Monday, 21 Harlingen residents have been tested at the Brownsville drive-through. Seven of those tests negative with 14 results pending.